Automation is going to play a huge role in the future of transportation. This is absolutely a revolution. This is probably the most significant change that we've seen in over 100 years since the transition from horse-drawn carriages to motorised vehicles. So we are actually making a machine that's going to change people's lives for the better. Uh, the introduction of driverless cars is something that the whole world is interested in. We're in the middle of an unprecedented technological arms race to stop cars crashing. We're looking at automated shuttle vehicles that are designed to have no driver at all. They operate without any kind of human intervention. That technology could apply to cars, to shuttles, to pods, to buses, to trucks that could be used to improve mobility of people, goods and services across cities. So the Gateway Project is a, an innovative a research project led by TRL. Uh, it's a jointly funded project between industry and government. Uh, and it's actually looking at the societal impact and the implications of introducing driverless car technologies. It's taking place here in Greenwich, in part of London, uh, Europe's only megacity and it's an amazing new concept. People may not realise, but actually 90% of deaths or serious injuries on the road today actually have an element of human error causing that accident. The minute you start to take the driver out of the equation, then all of a sudden you have a dramatic improvement in road safety. What we're doing is we're using a variety of sensors all around the vehicle to make sure that it's detecting people, animals, bikes, cars, everything. So this is using tried and tested technology. So the, the vehicles are very, very safe. For us, the Gateway Project is really about connecting people with technology. Communication is vital because we all expect it. It's a given, you know, it's not something that we all accept lightly. If we're not connected, normally it has a negative vibe on us, so we always want to be connected. And that doesn't matter whether we're in a car or whether we're walking down the street. Insurance is, uh, is a really important feature here. The implications on society, I think, uh, uh, are absolutely huge. Uh, obviously, that has, kind of has further knock-on uh, implications in terms of the, the cost of the insurance premiums um, and also in terms of the uh, cost of ownership of a, of a vehicle. So massive, massive implications here from uh, moving towards this new technology. Its application isn't just in Greenwich. It's across London. It's across the entire you know, UK and the world. It's going to be particularly useful, I think, for people who are not able to hold a driving licence. I'm actually registered blind, so I'm never going to drive myself. So they can't come quick enough for me. I think as um, I'm getting on, and um, when I think about driving when I'm in my 70s, there is a certain amount of worry Whereas I think driverless cars would actually help the elderly from that point of view. I just, it's, it's like a, something I've kind of dreamed about. It's like, a, you know, one day there'll be like a car just rocks up with no one driving it. You can just jump in. Like, it's like the Jetsons. Yeah. It's cool. Je yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's what I meant. TRL has in fact been researching the whole concept of driverless cars for over 50 years. But what we found in all of our previous work is that the technology wasn't really sufficiently advanced to be viable. Uh, that's all changed and technology has advanced so much that we truly think that these are going to be very disruptive and very viable, very credible solutions uh, for tomorrow's world. There's been a lot of talk about automated vehicles over the last five years. This is giving people the chance to experience them for themselves. 